Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another battle vid. And again, this is something you guys asked for. Well, sort of, so you will. So some of you said, hey look, why don't you compare the brand new Galaxy Buds Live to the AirPods Pro? And I said, you know what, that's a good idea, but why don't we add a few more into the mix? So I decided to add the Pixel Buds 2 and the Sony SB800N to find out where they all stand. So uh, I can go into detail about each and every different device in terms of hardware. We know that already, and I have the links for each of those videos up for you if you wanna check them out. But let's start off with uh, different categories. That's how we're gonna do this video today. So we're gonna talk about design for each one, right? The Galaxy Buds Live have a very different design structure. It's an open back pair of, of earbuds. They also bin shaped, uh, which look kind of awkward, but they kind of they do fit quite well. So in terms of fit, uh, that is not a problem with them at all. They've got uh, 12 millimeter drivers in there. They've got a base stock, uh, and it also has active noise cancellation. Now, when we move over to the AirPods Pro, uh, they've got a different design from the original AirPods. Uh, they now have tips. And if you guys are noticing, I did change my tips to comply foam because they give me a better fit. If you wanna do that, use the link down below. Uh, and also they do have that uh, arching stem that comes down, that's very traditional with them. They also have, of course, active noise cancellation built in. Now, the Pixel Buds 2 have a very small footprint, uh, and probably the smallest footprint out of all of them, uh, and they fit snugly into your ears, very nice, they've got a little wings to clip on. Plus, they have Google Assistant features built in, and they have a pretty cool case you can flip. Now, the Sony SB800N are, have the biggest footprint in terms of size. They've got wingtips, they've got really massive drivers in there, active noise cancellation as well, and of course, touch controls as you would expect with all of them. Now, in terms of sizing, uh, the smallest uh, earbuds are the Pixel Buds, the second are the Galaxy Buds Live, Third are the AirPods Pro and the Sony SB800N are the largest out of all of them. In terms of wireless charging, they all have wireless charging except one which is the Sony SB800N. The others all have wireless charging and in terms of wire charging, they all use USB Type-C except the AirPods Pro. Now, all of them have a version of 10 minutes of charge, gives you an hour, uh, except for the uh, AirPods Pro and the Galaxy Buds Live which is five minutes of charge and gives you an hour of usage. Now let's get to the meat of the story, audio. Now, how is audio with each of these headphones? Now, start off with the Galaxy Buds Live. Uh, paired in, of course, with the Samsung application, you can tune in your EQs to wherever where you want, but they do have some really nice highs, uh, really solid uh, mids come out, and also the bass is quite prevalent. Even though they are open back headphones, you can actually hear them because of that bass stock, and I like the sound I have with them, much louder sound stage as a whole. Now, moving over to the AirPods Pro. AirPods Pro have a solid sound. Um, the, uh, the highs are good, not as high as I would like. The mids are really solid on them. The lows are, are good overall. And of course, with the noise isolating tips that I use, they actually surround and help that much better. I think overall they've got a really solid sound uh, with the highs just not peaking as much or like gets muddled at the top. Now, moving over to the Pixel Buds. Pixel Buds are really nice and balanced. The highs don't go up as much, the mids are okay, the lows are a bit on the less side, if you will. Uh, I would say overall, you're gonna get a very clean sound from them, uh, and also uh, the volume levels are a bit low for, for some people, but I'll say in general, they're, they're a bit low. Uh, I think the sound itself, it's solid and nice. Uh, there are things that need to be improved on the highs, uh, and of course, the lows as well, but you still will enjoy them. Now, moving over to the Sony SB800N, I think they have the best sound out of the bunch. I've said this before in my other videos, and it continues here because they are so clean and clear. Uh, you reach such great highs uh, with them, the lows are good, and also it's got extra bass as well, so you get the bass. People who love trap music, hip hop, you will get that as well, but it doesn't overpower with songs that don't require that kind of bass. So I love them for that, and they really clean up the sound. So in terms of audio, I will give the SP800 uh, number one. Uh, I will give the Galaxy Buds Live a number two. Uh, and then number three is actually tied between the AirPods Pro and the Pixel Buds. 
I did mention software. Now moving on to software, they all have different degrees of software. The AirPods Pro are, have the least amount of software where you can go into the volume settings and you can go to transparency mode or you can turn off active noise cancellation and that's it. When you move over to the Pixel Buds, it's got a little bit more of a software, but it's just for uh, Google Assistant features, Find My Earbuds, very, very basic in terms of software settings. Uh, moving over to the Galaxy Buds Live, it does have a, a solid piece of software where you can go on and turn off and turn on ANC directly from the software. You can also customize your EQs. You can find your earbuds as well. Uh, you can go into some of the lab settings like your game modes uh, for, for game settings, things like that. Um, so it's a little bit more robust, but not as robust as the Sony SP800N software, which gives you a plethora of features there. So you can go in and turn it adaptive, adaptive uh, active noise cancellation, which varies noise cancellation within your settings so you don't have to change it yourself. So if you're on the subway or if you're walking down the street, it varies to match those settings. Uh, you can also change your EQs, very customizable EQs. There are presets there, but you can go in and customize that. You can change even your codec settings to, to balance for better audio or better connectivity. Uh, so a lot of things you can do, I think probably one of the most robust apps uh, in terms of software apps for audio. And I think they definitely take the cake here. Now, I also mentioned active noise cancellation, and that is something that not all the earbuds have. So the Pixel Buds don't have active noise cancellation. They have a nice seal. For me, it doesn't seal as well, but also you can change your tips to customize that. I just need to find a pair that do that. But the seal is solid enough. It blocks out some noise, but not as much. Then next up is the uh, Galaxy Buds Live, which have active noise cancellation, but honestly, it literally only drowns out on the lower end scale. So you, if, you're, if you're listening to music and you're in a louder setting that has more bass in it, it will cut off more of that as opposed to general active noise cancellation. So if you're walking down the street and you hear a car, it's not gonna drown that out. It's not gonna drown out the subway. That's where it is. Then the AirPods Pro. AirPods Pro have really solid active noise cancellation and the transparency mode is really good. Nice uh, um, clarity to it, blocks out, I'd say about maybe 60 to 70% of the noise uh, and it does a really good job at it. If you're looking for that kind of active noise cancellation, then the AirPods Pro really take the cake there. But number one in this category, category again is the Sony SP800 and the adaptive noise cancellation is truly uh, impeccable, probably the best in terms of just seeking out the locations you where you are. Its active noise cancellation is solid all the way through. Uh, I would say it's only come second to the Sony WH-1000 Mark III's, uh, but it's really solid active, active noise cancellation overall. And I think anyone who's looking for ANC and good audio will go with that. Now, they all have microphones built in, right? So how well do the microphones sound? So I'm using my brand new microphone uh, test to figure out how they all sound. You're gonna hear um, indoor and outdoor sending microphones and then we can come back and we'll talk about that. All right, so here is an indoor microphone capture of the AirPods Pro, giving you a good idea of how the microphones will work indoors while you're having a conversation. And uh, of course, you know, the fans on and a few things on, so. There you go. So here's a quick microphone sample of the Galaxy Buds Live. Uh, and this is just to show you how it sounds uh, while capturing and having a conversation indoors. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. All right, here is an indoor microphone capture of the Pixel Buds, as you can see clearly here. Uh, giving you an idea of how your conversations will sound while you're indoors and how somebody else will hear them from you. All right, so here is microphone capture of the Sony SB800N and we are of course capturing audio indoors so you have a good idea how it sounds indoors while having a conversation with maybe a fan on uh, some computer sounds but nothing too crazy so here's a quick microphone capture of the AirPods Pro giving you a good idea of how the microphone sounds uh, there's some honking might be a little bit windy but you get a good idea of what it does in terms of audio for you Okay, I'm recording off the Galaxy Buds Live, using it here to capture sound. And uh, I'm up here, it might be a little bit windy, uh, there might be some noise from cars, but this will give you a good idea of how the microphone sounds, especially while you're walking and talking, you know, on the road, you know. So some wind's coming in. This should be a good, good uh, capture point in terms of what this microphone can actually do, so. 
Okay, so I'm testing out the microphone of the Pixel Buds 2 or Pixel, you know, Pixel Buds. You guys know what it is. Well, giving you a similar um, surrounding of how it would sound uh, during a conversation while walking down the street. So it might be a little bit windy here. Uh, you might hear some honking, but you get a good idea of what this uh, microphone can actually do. So I am testing out the microphone of the Sony SB800N, which of course uh, has some of those casting microphones. We're again simulating a, an environment that is close to the real world. It's going to be a bit windy, it might be some honking, and you get a good idea of how this microphone actually sounds. Uh, so the microphones are pretty good all around and the Galaxy Buds Live take the cake with the microphone. I think that's where it lands at the very top spot. And I was quite impressed to see what Samsung actually brought to the table. Uh, the AirPods Pro were also good uh, as well as the Pixel Buds and the, and the Sonys, but those were on the lower end uh, there. In general, in voice calls, they all sound great, but this is just trying to replicate that within the piece of uh, software while recording uh, on a smartphone, but the Galaxy Buds take the cake there. So when it comes to battery life, both the Pixel Buds and the AirPods Pro give you 24 hours in total with the case, five hours with the Buds themselves. Now the Sony SB800N gives you 18 hours in total, but nine hours with the Buds. Uh, and that's if you have ANC on. If you do have ANC off, then it goes up from there a little bit on. And then the Galaxy Buds Live have um, a battery life of 29 hours with six to eight hours, six to ANC on, eight hours of ANC off. In terms of battery life, the Galaxy Buds Live win there. And then when you look at it through, you can see that it's of course the AirPods Pro and the Pixel Buds too, and then the Sony are there. So where do I put all these headphones in terms of racking? I think my overall number one choice will still be the Sony SB800N. They're $199 and they definitely take the cake at that price point uh, with great audio. Uh, of course, you've also got solid active noise cancellation, a decent microphone and solid applications to boot as well. Uh, then followed up next actually for me will be the Galaxy Buds Live. Priced at $169, you do have some really solid audio, great microphone on there, uh, a really solid app, and mm, barely, I'll say barely decent ANC for current ANC standards. Uh, next up is a tie with the Pixel Buds 2 and the, and the Apple AirPods Pro, but I'll give a slight edge to the Pixel Buds 2. Pixel Buds 2, very easy and simple to use. You've also got the Google integration in there, so using Google Voice uh, just naturally with them uh, really works. Also, you've got a very nice and light fit, and uh, the synergy uh, and controls are quite simple and easy to use. The AirPods Pro are solid, but you get the best benefits of them while listening on your AirPods, uh, and that's where better connectivity is, but it does have some really solid active noise cancellation and a good mic. So hopefully that gives you an idea of where they all stand. Now, for those who are asking which is better between the Galaxy Buds Live and the AirPods Pro, I think it's all your choice. If you're looking for ANC, the AirPods Pro still win there, but if you're looking for everything else, microphone, audio, uh, software, the Galaxy Buds Live take the cake. So if you have any more questions, any comments, let us know. If you want to pick up any of these headphones, use the link down below, guys. Otherwise, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. It's going to be a busy week. Thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.